Hi, I'm Araminta Matthews, the Associate Dean of Graduate and Professional Studies here at Maine College of Art. I want to welcome you once again to pre-college at Maine College of Art, summer of 2021. You are the first group of students experiencing our online and in-person hybrid program. So welcome. We're really excited to have you. In this interdisciplinary class, I will be your host uh, throughout your course. This is an entirely asynchronous class. That means you do the coursework on your own time and you put the emphasis of your work on your studio majors, your two majors classes that happen in real time during the day. But in your downtime or when you're not attending a student life event, you'll be working on the content in this class. This class is designed to be an interdisciplinary boost. When you are an art student in an art college, one of the things that you'll be asked to do is explore the foundations of other artistic media so that you can influence your media or your mixed media with these other templates or other experiences of artistic devices. So in this course, we'll be asking you to do these daily sketchbook prompts that push the boundaries of your own experience. Let's explore. When you first come in, of course, you'll experience the same welcome and kickoff. In the interdisciplinary course, you'll also notice that we actually set you up with the beginning activities. Let's this in student view for you so you can see it the way students will. You can use this module to learn how to use Canvas. So if you're ever confused, you can always come back to this or you can just work your way through the content in the module as you see fit. We have a fun video game arcade section for you here in Canvas. This is interactive. Please have fun and enjoy. You will also, of course, find something similar in our course lobby. And then we talk about some of the opening activities. Your first activity is to make a clay art guardian or mascot. You have a package of air dry clay in your kit that you should have received by now. Feel free to sculpt that into anything that represents your sense of an art mascot for the summer. Snap a few photographs of it and submit it to the scavenger hunt that we're doing in person and online on Friday. When you're ready, you can click Let's Go Make Art and it will jump you right over to the lobby where you will find all of the details of the scavenger hunt. And notice every element of the scavenger hunt is also available to you in a downloadable document. So feel free to make a copy of this document, print it off, or just use a digital copy to get yourself through the scavenger hunt for Friday. There will be two winners of the scavenger hunt, one for in-person folks and one for online folks. One of the aspects of taking an e-learning art studio class, you'll need to set up your own art studio. Now it can be plain air, you can set it up outside for instance, just make sure the area is covered or perhaps has a tarp handy in case you need to kind of close off the space. You could put it in a closet, you could put it right in the middle of your bedroom. Just be aware that some of the things that you'll be doing might be messy, so it would be a good idea to have either old newspapers or an old shower curtain or some tarps handy to, to set up your space. If you don't have an easel and you need one, you can easily set one up for yourself using a drawer in your bureau or leaning it up against a chair while you sit in the chair next to it. There are a lot of different approaches that you can take to making your own studio. The important thing is that you find what works best for you. We also encourage that you set up your video station nearby, but protect it because we don't want it, you to get paint on your webcam. So as you are working with your majors classes or with this class, as you're setting up videos of your content or pictures of your content, make sure that you keep the webcam near you and perhaps have your studio off to the side so that you can look at your instructor and that you can flip the camera and show them your pieces if you need to um, while you're meeting. Lots of details for you to explore here on this page about studios. And of course, a tour of Mecca itself. And I'm just gonna jump back to modules here because I want to show you a couple of different things. You can navigate through the modules like this uh, page is your table of contents. So when you click on modules, everything here is organized like a table of contents. And you can see week one, Monday, you've got your tour, you've got a quick lesson prompt, and then the activity. You can also navigate using the syllabus button. 
you'll notice on some screens in the right, you'll have an active to-do list popping up. You will also notice that you have a to-do list at the bottom of the page on the syllabus, and it provides you with a date and a time to complete different activities throughout the course. If you've already read the content or you know exactly what you're going to do for your activity for the day, you can just click right into the activity and jump right in. So for instance, the Who Are You activity, which is due Monday of week one, July 5th, this is the activity. You have a quick prompt, and then you can choose which medium you want to take. These options are really just prompts designed to get you thinking about interdisciplinary approaches to your art, but we have broken them down into visual, audio, art, scholarship, or research, so that's reading or looking at things or visiting a museum, body performance, that would be performative pieces, that might be where you're mixing paint and performing with your own body a dance at the same time. And then, of course, the creative writing portion where you simply write a response. Choose your submission type, submit, and go. By submitting, you can uh, snap a photo of your piece, or if you made a recording or an animation, you can actually just attach that uh, as a URL. I also want to just draw your attention to Studio here. You as a student here have access to this recording medium. So if you click Studio in any area of the course, this will actually create a recording opportunity for you. You may have to install a plugin the first time, but notice you can add videos. So if you've already got a video on your phone, you can upload it here or you can record directly. And if I click record, I can choose a screen capture or a webcam capture. So if I'm capturing with my webcam, I might want to position my webcam in front of my uh, easel or my painting piece so that I can show the painting. Position the webcam perhaps over my shoulder if I need to be working with my back too. Um, if I'm doing a screen capture, that means it will be capturing whatever's on the screen while I talk, kind of like what you're experiencing right now in the video that you are watching. When I click that, a loading screen will occur. I need to give it permission to access my webcam. And once the screen occurs, you'll notice this dotted line appears uh, around the area it wants you to record. I can tell it's picking up my microphone because these little green dots are appearing. I can choose it to, I can ask it to use my webcam or both my webcam and my screen, which will be just like what you're watching now, a little webcam capture inside the screen that is being captured. Um, and then whatever I select, I just click the record button and it will begin recording a video. When it's done, that video will appear in the studio repository and I can attach this video to any discussion board or any assignment throughout the course. So I'm just gonna head back to our course site now and just pop back into modules and show you one last detail. So as you go through modules, this the intent of this is for you to do one activity every day and at the end of the week, you'll submit your favorite one for a critique, for a digital asynchronous critique. You'll learn more about the critiques next Friday. I'll post a video about how you'll engage in critiques using that uh, medium. I also want to draw your attention to this discussion. So on Wednesday, you'll be prompted to complete this brief discussion where you post your own response to this area. There's instructions here if you need help. You click reply to this thread, post your response, and then pop back in on Thursday and Friday and respond to your classmates so that you can have an interactive dialogue over this media. Perhaps meet some new people and learn some new things. So back to modules, the lesson page. So right before you land on an activity page, there will be a page with a brief lesson and it's very short. It has a prompt in it, and then you'll have some material that you can look at to inspire you, and then jump next into the actual prompt and complete the activity. We're gauging that each of these activities should take you no more than 10 to 15 minutes. When you're done, post it so that you can get credit for having completed the activity. And it's okay if it's uh, also part of your major's work, 
um, if that's what you want to use for your sketchbook activity for the day. The goal of this class is to get you mixing media though. So if you're in painting, try in the morning painting with your ketchup packet uh, at breakfast, right on your paper plate. If you are in drawing, try drawing with a burned stick or draw on a different kind of medium like the sand at the beach. If you are in uh, animation, try claymation for a change instead of uh, your your hand drawn animation or try animating with Legos. Whatever it is that you do, the goal here is to get you mixing and matching your media and trying different things. And I'll be providing you feedback throughout the course uh, periodically, not on everything you submit, but you will be hearing from me periodically throughout the course. And at the end, we'll see uh, what your portfolio looks like. You can submit any piece you want to the final show. So maybe you'll produce something in this course that really inspires you. Take care. I look forward to learning with you. If you haven't already seen it, I do just want to show you briefly the lobby. The lobby is how you can get around all of the open areas of our e-learning campus. This is an interactive lobby, so all of these are buttons that will take you to different areas of the course. You will be completing a final art show with us that is fully digital, and you'll learn more about that as the course pro progresses. You can also navigate the lobby by using this menu up here in the right. This page will help you get to your courses or your Zoom classrooms. Please note that you should always check your Canvas course site because there may be additional details about the course that you're about to visit real, in real time over Zoom. But you can access any of your Zoom links or your Canvas sites here. And if you have any trouble using Canvas, Google Drive, or Zoom, there are some tutorials built right into this page for you. Next up is hello and opening activities, which you've already seen. You'll see the scavenger hunt here and some details about the July 3rd and July 4th events. Also, you can tour our campus. Check out all of the awesome studios that we have here on campus or learn more about our graduate programs. And you can feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of the page by entering it here. We have a social media page that has a built-in calendar of events. Please click on any of these to see more information about the event and how to access it if you are digital. Note that this event calendar has been shared with each of you individually. So if you have any trouble accessing it, make sure you're logged into your mecca.edu account uh, and then you should have no trouble at all. Next up is a play area where we have gathered together so many games for you. Feel free to pull these into Discord so that you can play with your classmates. Um, this is a great uh, online version of Exquisite Corpse. It takes three to play, uh, but of course you can have larger groups than that if you want. Um, and everybody takes a, a portion of a page and they draw either the head, the middle, or the bottom uh, and trade it through links. And at the end you end up with an exquisite drawing that's a mashup of three different artists. There's different paint programs, a color matching quiz for pros. Um, there's, you can teach an AI to recognize doodles. You can play a version of Pictionary called Draw Eyes online. Um, you can interact with some artificial intelligence that will respond to you by drawing similarly to you. You can make paintings like Mondrian or use some strange digital apps that produce very unique uh, digital arts. There are lots of opportunities for you to play in the lobby. Of course, you have your student life page where you can learn more information about student life. And if you ever need to miss a day, you do need to let both your uh, pre-college coordinator, Trevor, know and your instructor. We have a wellness area, a resources area with all sorts of resources for being an e-learner, e different aspects about what it means to be in college a virtual museum tour. Each of these museums is a 360 or immersive tour, and there are several museums here. So if you get stuck, or if you are having artist block, try clicking on one of these museums and go through the tour. There is a huge variety here, something for everybody. Give it a shot and see what you think. And lastly, the PC Final Art Show. You will receive a video in this course site and in other places 
describing how to interact with that final show, where to find it, and what you'll need to submit. You will be submitting pieces throughout the course, and it's very important that you know if you want to be in the final art show that you do need to submit all of your pieces by the Wednesday of the last week. Anything submitted after Wednesday, we cannot guarantee will make it into the final show. 